Xia Baolong, director of the Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office, has called on Hong Kong's business leaders to unite and actively promote the city's economy. Chief Executive Johnny said he would take concrete actions over that. As the city's leader is set to leave for Peru tomorrow morning to attend the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation or APEC Summit, he said he would work to expand cooperation with other economies. During last Friday's symposium in Shenzhen, organized by the Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office, its director Xia Baolong told Hong Kong business leaders to show their love for the SAR with concrete actions. Speaking ahead of the weekly Executive Council meeting, Chief Executive John Lee said Xia has given clear directions for the city's business community on how to contribute to the city's development. And of course, enterprises can make their decisions. But the key point is, how much you love this place and how much you think uh, you should contribute. Whether it's just a business decision or whether you want to be showing your love to the people who live with you every day, showing your love to the home, which is the home for your children. Henry Tang, a member of the Standing Committee of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, noted that even when the business community is willing to cooperate with the government, the administration should not always insist on its own way. On that, the CE said entrepreneurs and investors can take part in mega-projects, such as the Northern Metropolis, and that will help relieve the government's financial burden. Meanwhile, the annual Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, or APEC, summit will be held in Lima, Peru on November 15th. John Lee said he will work to develop cooperation with more economies for Hong Kong, tell a good Hong Kong story and seek to join the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP. Last year, Lee himself did not join the APEC summit, which was held in the U.S., citing scheduling conflicts. During Donald Trump's previous tenure as U.S. president, he imposed sanctions against Hong Kong officials, including Lee, and publicly commented on Hong Kong's national security cases. Does Trump's presidential comeback worry the CE? Any country or economies uh, which want to uh, develop trade relations or normal relations with another economy, then mutual respect is important. Uh, and also, there should be respect so that there will be non-interference with local affairs, internal affairs. John Lee also noted how Hong Kong being the world's freest economy will continue to consolidate its traditional markets while striving to develop relations with emerging markets.